Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Panchos of the Mighty Mix Bummer and did you know that the glow worms do not eat? Yeah, that's an important thing to know. Hello, we are back with Endless Space. As two people suggested, I came back to this game and I said suggested instead of suggested because that's apparently how I roll or in other words I do not indeed. Anyway, it is... Whoop, endless place. There is not much else to say about that. The game that we all know and love, at least I hope this is the case, because I definitely know I do. And that's pretty much all there is to say about the intro. However, we're gonna go with a little bit more spicy play for this time. Now, you, mi we m you might find out what faction I'm going to play as soon as I click new game. So, well, why don't I just click it and stop the suspense? Yeah, I'm sorry. So, apparently after the part, one of the patches has been downloaded and installed, I lost my two R custom races, the Zerg and the other one that I made for myself, which I'm not too pleased with. I mean, those factions are still playable in the save files that I have, but aside from that, not really. So I went ahead and created another faction, Asari, to showcase you a little bit more different approach to this game, which should be relatively interesting. Now, let us go through the traits a little, really quickly, so that you know what I'm going to go for. First of all, the overall, uh, overall idea that I went for with this faction was pretty simple. A faction that is relatively highly, adv relatively advanced in terms of technology, because we know that Salarians are better in terms of that, but, Sar but Asari... I wanted to say Salari. Whatever. But Asari do have those amazing mind powers and actually I should modify them to be written in all caps apparently. Okay. Can do. Now better. Accept. Thank you very much. So, going back on topic. So I tried to reflect that. For example, I imagine that the Psychic also um, Mass Effect pass come from dust so I did make them a little bit starving in terms of dust but on the other hand they have a couple of other neat features that make up for it and are supposed to represent their psychic abilities so let's go through it Sophon affinity well i definitely had to go for Sophon. i mean not only their visuals are kind of similar to what we saw in mass effect from masari but also they really kind of fit the play for the gameplay we're going to try and see from this faction so as you can see the less taxes i have the bigger I get bonus in size, aside from the normal one that I get from Empire Fervent and so on and so forth. So really, it's really important for me to have as few, as small taxes as possible. Also, I have the Chris support module's cost on Empire, this is also quite, kinda handy. Completely different than what we had with Hisho, obviously, because then, as you can see, yeah, it's kinda making us overpowered if we keep fighting. Now it's a little bit different approach. Scientists, pretty much say forward, I just get more science. I didn't get as many scientists as the normal Sophons have because, as I said, that's not my purpose. I don't want to be so uber advanced, I want to be the psychic ladies. That's impaired, now this is what I believe should come in with those psychic abilities being used. The dust kinda well represents that, so that's why I went for maximum negative threat in terms of that. Now going on with the dust thingies, I'm dust start, which means that I have no dust start. Makes really no a lot of nostalgia memories because that's how we started in Alpha and most part of the beta. So it should be fun. Feeble Wars because Asari, really not too great in hand-to-hand -hand combat, let's be quite honest to it about that. And we saw the home mode was kind of pwned with little to no resistance, so they're kind of wimpy. The price of beauty I felt that it's kind of fits the faction because yeah the, the beauty is pretty much all they care about so it should be nice I like economists it doesn't really make that much sense to be honest but I went for it just to make things a little bit more interesting so that's my reasoning for that and spend thrifts yet again because of the psychic, psychic pass I do need to use a lot of dust now as for the positive traits now first of all snipers I believe that since I cannot reflect the fact that I can make black holes with my mind I believe I should like be able to empower my computer's targeting systems so that they work better, so this is reflected by snipers. Also I have optimal structure and strong alloys because it really does feel like a sorry uh maybe not the most 
practical race of race uh, of races, but they are still pretty neat in that regard. And also, this should also reflect that they have those psychic abilities, so they have strong allies where they simply make their own shields around their ships or, or something along those lines. As for optimal structure, well, that they, they simply do not need any machinery to move parts around the ship, they just can do this with their mind, so there's my reasoning behind this. Scientists are, as I said, well, they are, sorry, are pretty advanced to begin with, so that's where this comes from. Crowded planets, well, as in every highly advanced civilization, we usually have crowded planets, cities, whatever you want to uh, talk about. It's not as crowded as I went for with Zeg, obviously, but it's still crowded nevertheless, it should be pretty neat. And as recyclers, since we know that we need the smart parts, so we want to fight this element zero as it was in Mass Effect, or in this case, dust. So we do watch out for that because we can really take make a good use, use of it. So that's the faction I'm going to play in a nutshell. Now, last time we went for serious uh, difficulty, now we're going to go for impossible. I'm not quite ready to try the endless, I'm kind of... Excuse me, what? Um, okay, something happened, but I don't believe anything. Are they as well as they were? Okay, everything seems to be just fine for whatever reason. Something happened, now impossible is good, that's nice. Game speed is going to be fast as usual. And again, that's the game speed I like to have in Endless Space. It kind of reflects, I mean, it's the future. I would expect uh, some technological breakthroughs to happen quite rapidly, so that's why I always go for game speed fast. Also, it's more, more, much more interesting to watch, I believe. Now, let's go for advanced. Part of difficulty, let's go for insane. We want to pump this up. I want this uh, playthrough to be as exciting and difficult as possible, and I'll talk you through what what decision I'm going to what decisions I'm going to make and why I'm going to make them just to try and survive it might be pretty difficult this is the first time I've been playing on such a high difficulty setting I have never ever tried impossible before and I never went for insane pirates either so this should be pretty interesting now the shape of the galaxy I would like to try I don't really remember when was the last time I went for Ovoid, to be honest? But Spiral 8, I do hold a lot of nostalgia to it, because this is the ship of Galaxy I played the most, but I don't believe I ever showcased it... Great. <laughs> I ever showcased it to you guys, so that's what I'm going to do now. I have to set all this again. Actually, not all this, on this set difficulty in the game speed. Well, that's good. Empire is obviously going for all of them, because that's how we roll. Galaxy size, let's go for large instead of huge. Age. Let's go for random, because quite frankly I want to be surprised, I don't want to know what on earth is going to happen. Density, well... Okay, that's good, density, we don't need anything more, this is nice. Number of constellations, what is unique? A single large constellation would be interesting, but I would that remove wormholes? Would it or wouldn't it? I'm. I don't know. I'll go for unique and we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be interesting. I've never ever tried the unique one. One host, let's go for. Well, average is good enough. So apparently, we're gonna have two one holes because it's a single constellation. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. So. To maybe counter that, let's go for high. Oh, yeah. Let's pump some diff differences up. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever in terms of English-speaking nations, but whatever. Constellation distance. Is there some kind of no close average and remote? I'll go for average. Planet per system. Let's go for random. Because, well, we are gonna randomize things quite a bit. Yet again, random. Because, hey, why not? And resources. I'm just gonna go for normal because there's no random option. Going for scary resources could... It could either provide me more of a challenge, or it could completely screw over the AI, so I don't want to mess up too much with this. It would be different if I am playing online with a friend, however, this is not the case. So, we're gonna go with the usual set of empires. So, the first one, now this is the coolest color, so obviously I'm gonna give it to an amoebas. I mean, aside from mine. I don't know why. I, as I said before, my favorite color is dark, 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 dark blue. But in video guys, I always go for green. No idea why. It's just... I think, I believe I explained actually why a long time ago, more or less. So I'm not gonna dwell too deeply to that. Because it would be a waste of time. He shows pink. Well, that's interesting. 
pilgrims that I believe are lame and who's left? Sowers, that's right. Now, the only thing I don't really like too much about Endless Press, look at how many humans are there! 1, 2 and 3, because Horatio are kinda humans. They're not totally humans, so I don't hate them as much as normal humans, but still, three human factions, I hate it. Oh well, at least I have somebody to kill. And are we ready? Ah, I believe we are. Let me start the game, and while we start the game, I'm going to talk to you about the unique thing I'm going to go for with this particular playthrough. So, <laughs> I'm already excited. Now, because we are starting a new playthrough, let's start by opening a new box of juice. I totally didn't have any problems opening it, I'm not a wimp. Okay, and let me drink a sip. Mmm, it's a... wow, it tastes great today. Maybe because we started a new series. Let's me take another sip. Mmm. You can be jelly of the juice. You definitely can eat... wow, how did it get so tasty all of a sudden? It always was tasty, but not this tasty. It's like... incredible. You look so ugly, you should shoot yourself. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Sorry to say it. Now, this is cooler. This is actually the avatar I have on LS Space Forums because hey, why not? And, oh. I kind of forgot about this yet again. Oh, not um, too many people playing. That's strange. Then again, I guess it is. <gasps> this is a great hero to start with. OMG, OMG. I'm gonna be very happy, I guess. Now, this time our galaxy is pink. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, something I forgot to talk about last time. Remember how I unlocked this highest laser tech? <laughs> well, it turns out I never used it. Let me showcase it to you. So the highest laser tech is this one, low entropy materials. And this one, just lower, bit, lo a little bit lower than that, is quark effect weapons, which gives you the sort of beam and the better, excuse me, one is glow and deceptor. Turns out I've been using the Scepter Wings all day long, even though I had access to glue on the Scepters. But it's a good thing because, as I found out, the Scepter Wings are beautiful because they're pink, but the glue on the Scepters, they're lame. They're red! Why on earth would you do that, devs? Why would you do so? Nobody cares about red lasers. They were even old looking in Star Wars, let alone in the space. Whatever, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the system we started. Ow. <laughs> I don't know if this is just reflected by the difficulty setting or if this is just me being horribly unlucky. Regardless, it is difficult to imagine a worse starting system than this. It really is. Oh, Swamp Award again? Now, this is... This makes me tempted to just try and randomize the world again because we've already seen Swamp World and it's kind of boring to see. But no, I'm not gonna be like this. I will have to go with what I have. Obviously, I'm going for evolved soils because I do need my food and also it's gonna be extra producent on turn. And to top of that, on top of that, I also have some more food because of the Swamp World, which is gonna give me some nice boost. People are kind of hating me, but I'm gonna take care of that in. A, no, no time whatsoever. In no time. Yeah, whatever. So that's five turns! That's pr probably because I have reduced industry. Wow, it's gonna be really difficult. I might actually lose it at the start. What are, we're gonna go with what we have. So first of all, let me make sure that the approval is counted, but also what is important. Now, I do need to have as small tax rate as possible because this is gonna give me a lot of science. However, at this stage of the game, science is, it is important but not that important. What I would care to have more is to actually have my hero ASAP. So I'm gonna make sure that the people on my home planet is happy because they'll be more productive because of that. But I'm not gonna go any more than that. It's still gonna take me five turns regardless to take a hero. So quite a long time to get him. Also, Let's rename you. What was the Asai home planet? I don't remember. I honestly do not remember. Why did I check this kind of thing? It's important and I didn't. You know what? I'm gonna pause the recording just to check it out because it's gonna be very annoying for me otherwise. So I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back after this short episode of pause that you probably didn't even notice because I never ever edit my videos. Yeah, Fessy, how could I forget? Well, I could, because 
Yeah, Mass Effect 3. <clears throat> kind of um, killed the genre for me. But uh, maybe not killed entirely because, as you can see, I'm using it here. So, apparently, the genre is too amazing to be killed by one robot game. I mean, okay, maybe it wasn't too, not that old, but you know what? Let's not talk about Mass Effect 3, okay? Because it would take hours. It's something we could do in episode, I don't know, 10 or. Or, or newer because right now it's stupid. We should uh, talk about some more important stuff. So first of all, let's send an investigator to one of the plants. Which plant do I believe will be the most interesting one? Well, either the it's not supposed to be called a blue sun. Whatever. And seriously, no stars are called sun. They are white dwarfs. There are there are no blue dwarfs. What on earth is this supposed to be? Whatever, I'm gonna go there just to find out. And in the meantime, you ain't going anywhere because actually, you know what? I'm half tempted. No, never mind. I was half tempted to just use this ship to give me a rabbit boost to production on my home system because I could right now use this ship to give me additional population mark on Fessia. And this would kind of give me a big boost in the early game, a very big one, you would be surprised how much big of a deal this is, but considering how lame my system is, I would rather not do so, thank you very much. Now, we do need to queue up some research, but before we do, I need to tell you what I planned for me in this playthrough in terms of military. So my idea is to make fleets of only kilos, destroyers, aka kilos apparently, how many kills of apples would you like? Oh, let me, let, let's just say 20 because I'm really hungry. What are they talking about? Whatever. I'll go for fleets filled with only destroyers except for a single support ship, which for the most time is probably going to be Giga Cruiser. Thank you very much, game. Or maybe it will be the Dreadnought or Yota. Depending on which one I will find more useful for the role. So. Yeah, it's a little bit different. I'm going to... Let's see how much I struggle or how great this tactic turns out to be to just use destroyers only. Obviously, for the early stages of the game, I will use some more primitive ships, but for, but as soon as I get the access to destroyers, that's what I'm going to go for and what I'm going to stick with. There will be one single exception. I'll have a mothership that is going to be a destroyer and I can already t tell that it is going to be called Jack. Yes, I know, she is not an Asari, I don't care, she is my favorite character in the entire series, and yeah, enough said. Okay, so we, since we got rid of that, now what do I need to go for first? Now usually I would go for whatever plant I can colonize, however, yeah, it is going to take a while to I can colonize any of those bad boys, so that's not what I'm going to go for in this case. Instead, what I might consider as useful is iron grafting because this would really boost the population outcome on my home system and I kind of need this to expand to our assistance, which apparently is going to be a must. Well, like the most important thing for me early on because my home system is really, really crappy, so that's what I'm going to go for. After that, it will depend because I will need to know what kind of planets are in the systems nearby and currently I simply have no idea. Now, another thing that I'm going to go... Protector, go away, I don't care about you no, nor need you. And Procreator, I'm gonna modify him as I usually do because it really, Procreators do need those engine upgrades. I believe those are essential, especially in the early game. That's the only phase in the game when you use Procreators. But anyway, those things are really important, really helpful. Do go for them all the time. Investigator, well, for you, however, I don't really believe you need hard connectors. You, I think I will leave. How did you manage to get Lucilus fusion pods when you do not have access to them? Okay, so there is a bug I should report. No, I could leave this guy with this kind of engine that would be better than the one I have. Yeah, it would, totally would be. But this would be cheating because I'm not supposed to have access to this technology. The reason why I was getting this is because I am playing as a reset was designed after the cell phones and the cell phones have this technology from the get-go. I, on the other hand, do not. So this is the cheating I will not tolerate, even if it's actually helping me. So that's a change I'm going to have. Kinda hate myself for doing so, but hey, let's just at least try and make everything... Honest is not the word I'm looking for. Let's try and make everything fair, that's a good word. Now, I'm... Uh, 
I'm the last in the squad, that's because I'm playing as a cast of faction and because of this I'm handicapped, because otherwise, as I said in the past, the, the classic factors are kind of toned down, so you as a player are given less points in order to not make yourself too apart compared to classical factors, which as I said in the past is not the best idea in the world, I believe it should be up to our personal likings, per se. Okay, I believe we are good to go, it was kinda long for a stand, but we had a lot of things to do. So let's end it, it should go relatively fast. Never mind, apparently no matter what kind of stage of the game you're playing right now, it's still gonna take a while. Now let's see what kind of system this is. Oh great, thank you very much, well at least it's arid, so... No, it, it has this uh, awful castle syn syndrome, I hate it because it looks so disgusting. And what would this Castle Central give me? Wow. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna go in there. It's not like I wanted to go in there anyway, because honestly, this system, any system with a single planet, is pretty much just a way to travel from other systems that are actually important, because this thingy is not. Now, what are you? White Wolf? No, this is actually an real name, so let's try name. So we're gonna go in there, see, inspect how kind of a plant this is. I'm already going to take a guess and send my procreator to this Watson. Now, most people will actually send him to Freston somewhere, just hoping to get a good plant. I can understand that, and actually I should have done so before. But I wanted to check if there is actually a good system over here, because otherwise I would have to make a little bit longer route. So I decided that it is worth to risk a single turn. Apparently I didn't get anything from it, but I didn't lose too much either. Now, I'm still making 4 gold per turn, and in 4 turns I'm going to have more people, which is very nice. And in 4 turns I'm also going to be able to get my new hero. Which is going to boost everything tremendously on my home system. I never ever had the luck to start with a corporate hero. Actually, I think I did. Yeah, considering how much I played this game, I definitely did. But needless to say, it was kind of a long time ago, so I don't really remember it. There's a red wolf. Is it that a red wolf? Yes, it is. Fighters. What do you have for me, fighters? Tiny tundra, tiny burn, large gas helium with ice. <laughs> No, this is an interesting thing. Uh, it kind of looks cute, not really. And EM radiation, huge gas methane. Man, I am really unlucky. A single population capacity. Wow. <laughs> this, I n have never ever seen such a small population capacity. I didn't even, even know that it is possible to have, tiny, to have one. I mean, seriously, even tiny asteroids used to have two, didn't they? Maybe they changed something, because if they didn't, then this is madness. This is, this honestly kinda is. Now, research done. Wow, I'm kinda also in the first research. It said it's gonna take me two turns, but wait, maybe two turns passed. Whatever. So, is there any indication, indication of what I want to go for? Well, there is Tundra, so if nothing of those systems is colonizable, I could go for Tundra, so... I'll go for Xenobotany just in case. Maybe there will be another Tundra, maybe not. We'll see how it goes. Now let's end the turn. Thank you very much. Man, I'm really interested in this playful. It might end up with my demise. First of all, let's have a quick look at where are we placed at, more or less. Now it looks like, okay, this should be the end of the arm of the galaxy that we are at. So hopefully this will be in the case. This will, and this will mean that for anybody to come through to over the, those systems, they will have to pass through my home system, which is quite easy to defend, I uh, hope at least that's the case, so we're gonna see how this works. Now apparently there's still a longer way to the White Wolf, but still, I'm almost positive that it will not connect to anything which is going to be good. Quillers! It has wood, it has desert, tundra, and more desert and lava. This is actually a decent system, I want to say. Robo Lucas, this is a regret upgrade. It has been a while since I've seen it. Huge rings, that's also kind of cool and neat. Lava is always useful. I mean, at the start, it might be difficult to colonize. Or, uh, it's impossible to colonize. But I mean, the, the unhappiness it produces. But still, 
levels are usually really really profitable in terms of the sheer amount of industry they can give you especially if you have the proper boosts to that so i believe i believe this is the system i'll go for unless this one is even better so we'll see how this turns out to be now soon fessia will finish alien graphic it indeed it will be the, the next turn then okay i have no need to go for sustainable farms because it doesn't give me any bonus sign whatsoever but I will go for another Procreator instead. Next to me, it's still gonna take me a whole ten to... Excuse me, what's happening with my voice? I have no idea. Whatever. It's still gonna take me a whole ten turns to get this Procreator. That's because, yeah, I have almost no production on this planet whatsoever. So, yeah, I should start it as soon as possible, obviously. Is this everything I could do this turn? Apparently it is. So, you know what? I'll queue up our epidemics so that in the future we're gonna have like two points of it done already so that the points that we will achieve in by the end of this turn, science points I mean, will not be completely wasted. And also, who, you know, who knows, we might end up in a arid kingdom later on. Yes! Small arid, a small arid, one of them has small gravity on top of that, hey. So that's plus 10. It's actually kinda cool. Now, what do, where do I want to expand first? Yes or Kyos? It's still gonna take me a little while till I get to Kyos, but on the other hand, Kyos has a really big potential in terms of, uh, what do you call it, colonizing within the system bounds itself. Because look at what it has. It also has Robo Locals, which gives you a lot of production, and it has Tundra, which I believe that in the early stages of the game might be more profitable than Alright, let me just check, double check that. Actually, never mind, I believe that in the area sort of, of the game, Arid is the way to go. So you know what, I think I'll go for it. This system doesn't have a large future for, uh, going forward, obviously, but it's something, it's something. So I'm glad I went for Arid Epigenics. After that, what I will go for, I believe, is... That's a good question, what should I... You know what? Xenology, because it will give me access to Hydro Mill that I will have at this point, and this should really boost a lot of stuff in my upper. I don't really remember what exactly, but it should give me a boost nevertheless, which is nice. Anyway, Fusion Plus also very important, so I'm going to queue this up as well. Thank you very much. This. Wait a minute, did I set up my timer? I remember I did it, but did I pause it or did I. Okay, never mind, it's running. It was very small amount of time left on it though, so I might have not paused it when I paused the recording, but oh well, we'll live with it. Now, you... Oh, I didn't... Whatever. I just got lost in thought for a second, so don't mind me there. And we're ready to cleanse. Yes, I have wrote down a couple of names for assigned homeworlds, because I kind of forgot some of them. First of all though, let me colonize Eas one so that I can rename it. Great things have small beginnings, thank you very much, this is indeed the case, I like the music, it fits the current moment of the, of the game, and this beautifulish, mysterious, a little bit terrifyingish feeling to the early stage of the, of the game, which is kinda cool. Now how should we call this one, I'm kinda looking at this list I have in here. Now this planet, what was on this planet, I don't remember. Okay, I'm gonna call it Sion. Uh, that's probably not the way you're supposed to pronounce it, but that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna pronounce it, so you will have to just deal with it, I guess. Now, we do need as much food as possible. I do require more minerals. <laughs> Sorry, no. I do require to have more population at most, more than anything else. So, <gasps> you hear me? Yes! I mean, not you hear it technically, but I can have this one. And, Okay, this guy is administrator as well. Okay, it's administrator not corporate, but seriously. No, no, no. I want to inspect. Look at this angry face. Is it he or she? There, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have no idea if that's a he or a she. Regardless, it is ugly. I hate humans. They are such an ugly race. I wish they would die. Anyway, obviously I'm gonna have the Free Builder V7 because he's a really amazing static hero. We can expect him to on top of that, but there's no real need for that. He does have uh, doesn't have any wit, which is kind of annoying, especially for Myers, but everyone labor is way more important than wit. 
Also, he does give me a little bit of melee, which is good for defense. And I could use him as commander, though I never will. So that's something to consider. And look at this, plus 14% to both industry and food. That's huge. I'm definitely hiring him this guy. And also, you know what? I don't want to look at this angry face, so I'm gonna expel him. No offense to any artist who designed this face. I mean, I'm sure you are a good artist and so on and so forth, but I hate this face, so yeah. <laughs> No offense meant, actually. When I do mean offense, I actually say offense meant. Literally, that's what I say in Polish. I'm obviously translated, but you know what I mean. You know, offense meant, all the lack of respect, those are all the things that I say, and I like it. And yes, as I expected, this is the end of the Arm of the Galaxy. This is very, very nice. Gives us a nice, neat uh, location to colonize into. Not so great systems, to be quite honest. Qos has potential. Aside from that, anything, nothing else is really that great. Faitas could be nice, but it has only tiny planets that are completely useless. Oshi, what do you have for me? Oshi, seriously, all are gas giants. This game really wants to give me a hard time, I guess. Well, we're gonna see how well I do it. But it's gonna be difficult, I can tell you that. that. I will obviously have to focus on Qitas quite a lot, but first of all, Sun is going to be my stable and most powerful and important system for every game and maybe parts of the mid game but later on QoS is going to be the baby. Now I'm gonna tell this investigator to just continue exploring but actually I do have a specific route I want to go into and he already designed him by designed it by himself so that's nice of him. Now I presuming yes I know anything else I should take care of I don't believe there is Excuse me, there actually is, because I do want to my approval to be fervent. As you can see, I'm making no dust. Shut up. I'm not done yet. But, uh, as, but I don't really need this dust just yet. And this approval really does give me a lot of boost to pretty much everything. And also ecstatic on my newly expanded system is going to boost the production of people. Production of people, that sounds nice. <laughs> By quite a big percent also on my home system it's pretty much the same case which is going to be very important i already have four people in here i'm gonna have five in no time which is going to be amazing let me take another sip of juice oh wow it's so tasty mm. i don't know what happened it always was tasty but never like this. Maybe I got like irradiated version or something because it's way too tasty to be natural. <laughs> no, seriously, it's really, really tasty and I have no idea why. No, it's not like I'm complaining, don't get me wrong, but seriously, it has been a while since I drank juice this tasty and it kind of tells you something because I really like this juice product that I always drink and whoa. That's a lot, but that's because I finished the research that allowed me to get all the stuff. And what's more important, now I have titanium exploitation. When did I get that? Whatever. But more important, titanium, more titanium. I care about this. I now have hydromia, which gives. <gasps> Look at this. This is a gold mine. I didn't really know that hydromia gives me more food, but this is absolutely perfect for startup. Because obviously it's going to, well, I'm not even going to go too deeply into that, it's just amazing. And I cannot really express how amazing this tree is. So, it's kind of interesting this kind of, this playful that we're having so far. It's like a mix between very rough start because, yeah, because of that. And a lot of systems that we have that are useless for the most part. And then again there are some amazing things like Hydro Meal on my second planet ever, which is you are amazing! Now, I should however consider some consecutive some defenses because soon we will be attacked by pirates, there is no doubt about that. So I, what I will go for is advanced machining because I will need to get some more defenses. And I don't have to bother and or worry about rockets just yet, but I will be able to use rockets on my own because I have titanium already, so that's why I'm going to go for advanced machining without a shadow of a doubt. Now, what I'm going to go afterwards, well, that's a question. Because I'm going to go for small ships, I do kind of need all those upgrades that give me bonus 
HP to ship rather than percentage. And this also includes repairing assistance. So this, for example, would be great on my Zag Play and this is indeed what I went for. Is it? I believe it might be. But in my case, I would much... In, I would really favor adaptive glue in favor of everything else because obviously it gives me just more HP point blank uh, out of itself. However, it's still way too far away for us to even think about it. So instead, we're gonna go for isolation shields because we need science, science is good. We are gonna go for relativistic economics as well because sooner rather than later, we are gonna meet aliens and we need to have. A ceasefire treaty, so that I mean, offer peace treaty, so that we can get some, you know, bonuses out of, of the meetings, aka some trade art bonuses, which gives us plentiful of dust and or research, which is indeed very very nice. Now, thing I'm a little bit worried about: this is a pirate spawner and a half. Until I capture this system, pirates are going to swarm this place soon enough, and they will just keep coming from the system to attack me over and over and over again. So until I capture Oshai, or whatever I'm supposed to pronounce it, it's going to be a really difficult time for me to take care of that, because seriously, those parts are going to be nasty. Now, as you can see, I'm actually losing dust currently, but I will deal with it. Will I? Nah, I will go for content and just keep making dust, because at the moment, I kind of do want to have a little bit more dust on in the bank because I will need to make some kind of defensive fleet. I'm not making a trust yet, I will make it re really soon though. And next time, uh, in other words. So, yeah, it kind of tells you something. So that's that. Anything else I should take care of in this turn? Not really. I should end the recording until I am forced to split this video into two parts, but I believe that I can make it 15 minutes long and it will not be too bad. So I just have to make sure to end it relatively soon, but maybe not necessarily right now. Then again, I should probably end it right now. We're just gonna go with it for now, we'll see how well it goes. Also, it's time for me to design my first ship, how are we gonna call it? Um, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> Give me a second. Huh. I'm gonna call it Jessica, because honestly, Jessica are kinda wimpy, at least to me. They seem kinda... Jessica's, you're supposed to say that we are fabulous and we have high nails, toes, whatever. <laughs> toes. Maybe they do have high toes. And OMG, we are so awesome! And Jack would be there so seriously. I never really did like Jessica's, even Mass Effect 2, that was pretty much flawless by my standards. Now, what do I want to do? Do I want to go for Hecto or Dega? Now, this thing gives me more bonus on engine repair and scout modules that I'm probably not really going to use except for repair but I have only 130 tonnage but while this thing 104 tonnage so it gives me even less and it's the same industry cost so I'm definitely going to go for Deca which sounds strange however you're gonna go for it now to start with we are going to go for smart wrenches because wrenches wrenches because of the sheer amount of HP we're gonna get because of this, we kinda need it. Excuse me. I mean, it's give, uh, it gives us... Yeah, that's what it gives us. <laughs> nice. This update... Well, updated version of this update for the first time in like ever I'm actually going to use. But this can wait because so far, 25 uh, HP on ship. Even on this small ship, look at that, it's not that great, so I'm not gonna go for it. Instead, I will go for a lot of high speed to play again, because in the start of the game, that's what people use all the time, and by that I mean kinetics. But, well, I'm gonna counter it by going for missiles. I don't need to end or want to go for six of them, I'm gonna for, go for three, and three kinetics on top of that to just mix and spice things up a little bit. Now, honestly, hard kinetics are just there for sure, but iron torpedoes are right now my main cannon hitting, hardest hitting weapon, whatever, you know what I mean. So, I believe this is. I believe I can fly. I don't know why I thought about this, but oh well. Drastica is ready. Paul Hammer is ready. Whatever. And we should start pumping them out. However, I do need those heavy isotopes. You know what? Heavy isotopes are really important, especially on this system that has such a crappy. Uh, what do you call it? 
think of a dress, as Jesse would say. Industry, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go for heavy asset op refineries first, then a Justica, or two, actually. I'm gonna go for two, because one is not enough. Two is still not enough, but at least it's something. And then I'll go for more money, because I might need it. And after that, I'll probably go for more Justicas, but this is a distant future and a half. So let me end the turn, and I believe we'll end this video as soon as I expand to the next system. So it's gonna be... I don't know how long it's gonna be, honestly. I don't really care. As long as I don't have to split it, I'm all good. And... This is... It just cacks me up how beautiful this galaxy is. Not as beautiful as Sonya the newest single. Which is unfortunately Japanese, but... You know what? I mean, it might be Japanese, but regardless... By the way, I don't mean to offend any Japanese people or anything, I simply like Korean language way better. It's not like, I don't like Japanese, I don't really know a lot of Japanese, I just simply like Korean better. And anyway, I probably will. But, even though it's a Japanese single that Sancho just released, it's so beautiful. It really, really is. And I believe other people think just the same way. Because usually the Japanese singles don't get too many views, and this one got a million views a day. Which normally if we talk about Sushi the standards, which is at least 5 million per day. It's not that great, but as I said, it's a Japanese single. And Japanese singles are usually not that great in terms of views, because we care more about the Korean singles than anything else. Singles. Albums or anything. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna sending this bad boy to Kyuos. I'm... Should I hold on and see if I should send him to Bannister? Decisions, decisions. Well, I do have this system in a bank, so it's not gonna run away from me or anything. So I might as well try and risk it. We'll see how it goes. Now, end the turn, and please let there be a great system that I'll be able to colonize and make great use of. Also, because of this unique constellation thing that I decided to turn on in the galaxy generation, remember, there is no clear indication on uh, where is my terrain ends and where it, the enemy terrain starts because there are no wormholes. However, ah, uh, hello, I can see sowers. They just passed me, so yeah. I don't really like this because sowers are kind of expo exploration maniacs and they'll steal my systems without any problems, so yeah. Now, this system I can expand. <gasps> Yes, without a dub, without any words, yes, I want this quote too, I want more. Huge error with mutated flora, which gives me huge bonus. Oh, friendly locals. Wow, okay, give me a second, this is actually a big deal. Okay, this gives me free food, and that's will be four in the start. This gives me two, and two, this will be three in the start, on the start. So... In the future, I believe actually this huge area is going to be even more important and awesome than the small Terran. For now, however, friendly locals. <laughs> I like the description of this game in this game because they are really nice, imaginative, and funny as well. And I like it. So I'm definitely going to expand over here. Not at all that. This system might be even better. Man, should I exploit it? Explore it? No, I have to restrict myself. It might be even better. But I need to expand and make sure that nobody else steals this system from me. Obviously I could save, then go check if this system is worth anything, and then load if necessary, but this is lame. It's 4 units of titanium already, what kind of bonus does it give me? Oh, this is great, this gives me more, less production cost on modules that use titanium, aka less production cost on rockets that I am going to use. This is amazing, precisely what I'll need because of what kind of ships I am going for, so that's pretty much that. That's what I'm going to go afterwards, because sustainable farms are going to be really nice on Arid, but for now, I believe I can fly. I believe this is it, I'm gonna end the turn and end this video. It was Pantrasted the Mighty Mix Prime. If you so managed to enjoy my video cast, which wasn't all that bad considering my other videos, to be honest, then please like it and subscribe to my channel. On top of all of that, please leave a comment because I absolutely adore reading them. Thank you for watching and... No, I didn't want you to move it! Uh, oh, I didn't uncheck this box. Oh well, at least now I know that there's coach up that I really should expand to ASAP. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because there is this desert. Because of the system that they are here, that are here. It's not gonna be that great of a system either, but it, it does have six planets, if we can, can call asteroid a planet. So, yeah. 
Anyway, it was Pantraso. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you online.